kind of, oh oh Jesus. Um okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you keep you put yourself on mute, Kayla. You gotta take yourself off mute. Yes, it's working. Hello, I can hear you. And so you say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. This is wild. This is, is this like a morning voice for you? It is. Well, I've had my morning tea. So, um, yes. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Well, there is. You're a popular. People want to hear what you have to say about Orlando. Oh, I'm nervous now. I'm going to mute myself. Oh, my God. She muted herself. She ducked out. It was that quick. The peer pressure. You know, she's a person. She needs a whole team behind her. A whole crew. The smoke and mirrors kind of thing. And then when it's intimate, when it's just the person, she chickened out. And, you know, let me tell you something. You know who wouldn't do that? Perhaps a Bill Engvall would not do that. Uh, she's muted herself. <laughs> Is she? Off? Are you off again? And you un She unmuted herself and then remuted herself again. This, hello? Hi. Are you okay? Do you want to apologize to anyone or? No, you, no yes. I just love how you continue making the same jokes all morning long. We gotta, we gotta work on your material. You yes, something writer. something more topical like uh, Halloween decorations and Christmas decorate, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, I hope nobody on this chat has put up the Christmas tree yet. Has it, so. Why does that bother you? What do, and my question is, can people get away with um, Nightmare Before Christmas decorations? Uh, we still got we still got to wait at least until mid October. But would you consider those Halloween doc decorations or Christmas decorations? Christmas. Really? It's a skeleton in a suit. <laughs> and that's how I was. So, like I had a nightmare before Christmas Christmas tree during Christmas time. Right. Yes. So I, I wouldn't put that up now. No. No, that would be yeah. ridiculous. It would be ridiculous. Yeah. What else bothers you? What about these airplanes? <laughs> I'm eating myself again. Oh my God. She's a, she's a coy one. Let me say that. She can't handle the heat. She's going to unmute herself at some point. We'll see. Now I have to keep my watchful eye on it. Oh, I wanted to ask her her thoughts on the Tony Awards. <laughs> David said, he has continued the same jokes for a decade now. Yeah, well, it's because you're at the same level of mediocrity you, you were when we started on this journey. It's not my fault that you're the same person. I've talked about other stuff. Fuck, maybe I do need to get new material. Maybe I should get... Oh, oh Kayla's back. You can't just <laughs> burst into the room whenever you want. Go ahead. You have a thought? Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I think Dave and I need to talk offline about, about your horrible jokes. Good luck texting David. You'll text him, you'll forget about it, and then he'll answer you like three weeks later. You did, you did, oh, she muted herself. What a pain in the ass. I may put her on the Tucci list. This is Tucci-like behavior, I must say. D said the lead up to the muting process is very good. Uh, Sean is now uh, doing a Foxworthy impression. If you can't figure out how to unmute yourself on spaces, you might be Caleb Braxton. I like the, you might be Caleb. This is my new material. If you can't write a whole sentence without sending it in a YouTube chat, you might be Caleb Braxton. If you do Orlando your way, uh, Rob said, pure sass from Kayla. You can't do the flow. David said, I've heard the same jokes for 33 years now, so I'm just making... An observation. Have you changed your act at all? Is it time to reboot David's famed band, Ear 2000? Can you send me an album or something? I'm going to look it up, and maybe we could do acoustic covers. Erica said, don't listen to her, RJ. People like my... Some people like my material. <laughs> Shit. Well, now I'm all insecure, and I'm going to have to change my material. Shit. Maybe I should turn face. Vomino said, this is definitely morning entertainment. Rob said, you're just letting her commandeer the chat. You've changed. I've lost it. Uh, Matt said, Kayla often does, you, you can't do this. You can't just pop in like big brother. Did, she came in and she laughed like she was the Joker. And then she ducked out. I got Cesar romero Incidentally, I think she also puts uh, makeup over her mustache. That's good material. 
It's a good Cesar Romero joke, and she doesn't know, so you're gonna have to look up Cesar Romero. Aaron said, This is such a spicy Sunday. Positively, he said, I bet Charles was a senator. That's correct. Matt said, We're ready for the Blue Mike tour. I was gonna ask you about your stand up, and maybe we could have done like a little Stephen Eady kind of duo act once I explained to them, to you, who they are. <laughs> Positively, he said, Reboot David. SM said, Kick her out. Queen said, please don't turn face. I think the only way I can turn face is by telling people I'm a heel and them disagreeing with it. Otherwise, I have nothing. That that genuine likability thing is totally lost on me. David said, please don't. The shame meter pings when year 2000 comes up. Well, good thing I didn't say let's remount Sherlock Holmes, David. Positively, he said, ready to rumble too. The first one was more than there was enough rumbling. And Oliver Platt has not kept himself in ring shape. He, physically, he looks good, but his cardio is shot. SM said, creepy laugh out of nowhere. Nug said, respect because of Cesar Romero. That was very, I think the Phantom of the Opera did that once. The laughing. It's like, oh, this Phantom, where is he? And then you just hear, ha, I need to do the, just an audio clip of Kayla laughing, presumably with her tea. SM said, creepy laugh out of nowhere. Kingdom said, I like Kayla popping in and out like she's half talk show sidekick and half arch enemy. She's the Art Moore of my life. I'll let you kids look. I didn't know sidekick, especially not arch days. Wow. Um, well, maybe if you had your own show. Hey, how's the Braxton beat doing? She's muted herself again. It's always good to have one in the chamber for such an occasion. Matt said, Kayla doesn't drink coffee. She shouldn't be here. I didn't even know that. And so she said, oh, I had my tea. She probably made a whole performance with the bag and it's a peppermint flavored water. And she's like, oh, it's very good for my coffee throat. Your growth, clearly. clearly. So how long have you been drinking it is my question. Does it, does it give you larger thumbs? This coffee stunts your growth. What a weird, what a pseudoscience claim. Wow, no, have I not stopped growing? Am I not done? Um, Queen said, I volunteer to replace Jimmy King. And what tea are you drinking? And Kayla, how do you pronounce Rubius? Roibos? R-O-O-B-I-O-S? You know what I'm talking about? Kayla? I love how I'm summing her like, it's like, you know that tea? That tea. R-O-O-B-I-O-S. Do you know how to pronounce that? No. Great. All right. Mute. Will you mute yourself again, please? Jesus. I feel like this is like laughing. All right, this is this is the end of the show. I'm I'm leaving now. Kit, do you have anything to say, Kayla? Do you want to say goodbye to anyone? No, she. Oh, yes. Hello. She. You can't mute, unmute and then mute. You got to commit. You know what? I hope everybody in this chat has a fantastic Sunday, except for RJC. Well, uh, ta-ta. yeah, you certainly made that happen. I hope your tea. Burns your tongue. Let's get a final look. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone for joining me or something. Let's get a final look at these lilac uh, underwear. They're very hip. I know Kayla can't comment on them, but I sure she wants to tell you how hip they were. And that's it. Stay tuned because there's going to be a clip of my mother singing California Dreaming. And maybe next time uh, Kayla joins me, she'll have the gumption to actually sing with me and her morning voice. Until next time. Godspeed, my apologies, and God bless.